when we first moved in here, it was corner to corner drug deals, uh, hookers, car break ins all through the neighborhood. Um, we cleaned up the block. Suzanne Hale has seen a lot in her 27 years as owner of the Roxy Diner. She's also meant a lot to her team. It was important for me to come down here today. Thank you. And, and to be able to see you and thank you for the chance you took on me. To those who needed shelter. I work a lot with the underage gay youth. Some of them are homeless. They have a safe place to go till the buses started running. <laughs> and to her customers. It was a factor in us deciding to move to Portland. The pandemic made the last few years a rough ride, especially for a diner that depends on nightlife. There is no business. Everything's different now. There's no business for a 24 hour, and that's what paid our bills. But the final blow for the Roxy was an eviction notice from the Portland Development Commission. They're going to rehab the building and the commercial tenants are not invited back. And while some customers will miss the arrogant French toast or Dolly Parton pancakes. It just epitomizes the fun, funky, kind of rude, you know, the Portland vibe. It's clear the Roxy will be remembered most for being much more than a restaurant. This place taught me more about people and how to interact with them and how to see people than I've learned at any other point in my life. Show them that it is okay. It is okay to fall down. It's not about falling down, it's about getting up and we give them room to get up here.